The very first flights in the X-1 program were conducted by Bell Aircraft at Pine Castle Army Airfield near Orlando, Florida. Intriguingly, this is the location of today's Orlando International Airport. If you've ever flown into Orlando to visit Disney World, chances are that you flew into the airport that hosted the very first X-1 glide tests. Specifically, the western portion of today's Orlando International Airport was the location of Pine Castle and the early X-1 flights. Pine Castle was chosen for its relative closeness to the Bell facility in Buffalo, along with the desire to maintain some degree of security. Orlando in 1946 wasn't nearly as densely populated as it is today. This footage is rough, but that serves to illustrate why it's so important to get this film transferred into a digital format before any further deterioration occurs. All of the Pine Castle flights were conducted by Bell Aircraft, with company pilot Jack Woolhams flying the aircraft. The X-1 rolled out of the Bell factory in Buffalo, New York in December of 1945, and was ferried to Pine Castle on January 19, 1946. The B-29 Bell used for the early X-1 program was actually built by the company. While the B-29 was clearly a Boeing product, Bell constructed almost 700 B-29s under contract at a facility near Atlanta. That plant operates to this day under Lockheed Martin churning out C-130s, and the plant even built the F-22 fighter. The first glide flight of the X-1 took place on January 25, 1946, with ballast installed in place of the XLR-11 rocket motor. After climbing to 27,000 feet, the X-1 was dropped from the B-29 for a short four-minute flight. During the flight, Woolhams reached airspeeds as high as 275 miles per hour and checked out the general handling qualities of the aircraft, including stall behavior. He misjudged his final approach and landed in the grass just short of the runway. Fortunately, there was no damage to the X-1. After a series of 10 total glide flights at Pine Castle, a decision was made to pull up stakes in Florida and moved the test program to Murak Army Airfield in California. Not only would this move the X-1 program away from interested eyes in Florida, it was clear that the aircraft would need a great deal more real estate once powered flights started. Sadly, Jack Woolhams would not be making the trip west with the X-1. While testing a race-prepped P-39 for the upcoming national air races, the plane broke up and crashed into Lake Ontario. Chalmers Goodland, better known by his nickname Slick, would be taking over the X-1 test pilot responsibilities for Bell in California. 